Hi, I'm Jennifer Janish, owner of Adored Salon and Adored Signature Hand Tied Hair Extensions. I'm obsessed with curly hair. I cut it, style it, and extend it, and this podcast is all about my curly girl obsessions that stretch far beyond just curly hair. Relationships are your biggest asset, and you are going to see what this event is all about. Adored Salon, Adored Signature Hand Tied Hair Extensions, the Curly Girls Obsessions podcast. I'm here today with Lana. Nice to meet you, Lana. Lana is a hair school student. And how did you want to become into the beauty industry? Um, I think for me, I was always really interested in makeup and hair. I would always practice on myself. And when I would get my hair done, like, no one ever really knew how to do my curls. And so I was like, well, if I go, I can be the person people can go to to get their hair done with, like, my type of hair. Mm-hmm. Any different, like, types of curls. Because I want to, like, do color and I want to learn extensions for curls. And just, like, bring more inclusivity to, like, the hair world, I guess. Your hair is so gorgeous, oh, by the you. way. So thank is you. the color. I thank love it. You. Um. Well, so you answered a ton of questions. Actually, the next question was going to be like, do you gonna, are you going to specialize in anything? Yeah. So I'm so glad to hear that because when you have a path of what you want to do, when I started here 35 years ago, mm-hmm. you did everything. Yeah. Toes, fingers, hair, make like mm-hmm. there were waxing. You'd go from doing one, you know, you'd be doing pedicures and then you'd go do a haircut and then you'd go yeah. do a color. Like keeping your day focused was very hard. Yeah. It took a lot. <laughs> and now with the specialty creation, like, okay, this is where I'm going and this is what I'm going to do. Yeah. The team, the team that I have in my salon would tell you that they were able to grow their clientele so much faster because their area of focus was so focused. Yeah. Um, and it's like, once you get in that, role Mm -hmm. it's amazing because you really it just helps you so much so are you on social media uh I've just started a page I'm hoping to like grow it and learn how to be better at it I think so let me give you some advice for that because that is so important to get under your belt as like a routine right Mm -hmm. so Every client, you take a before photo, try to get their face because social media actually likes, people like to see a smile or lashes or something, right? And then obviously you have to ask them first, right? But then, and then the after, take a ton of pictures, find an area in the school or in your salon when you get to a salon that has good lighting and practice it. And like I tell our people that are in our coaching program now, like just start practicing taking pictures of something that you love yourself, your car, your purse, whatever, but like whatever will allow you you to take those photos just mm-hmm. start because that's something that we're not trained in right yeah. and you have to learn it for yourself mm-hmm. and captions to make sure your captions are giving some form of uh education or just so that there's purpose behind it mm-hmm. not you know vanilla cream balayage yeah. right because they're like oh I can see that already right. you know um yeah, so I'm super excited for you. Thank you. That'll you're gonna have a good career path ahead of you. How much so. longer of school do you have? Uh, I just we just started in the fall, so got the next two years. Oh gosh, <laughs> you're, and you're the 
the person who I told you from your school, mm -hmm. she wants to have us come to do a curly day with you guys. That would be awesome. Yeah, that would be so fun. Yeah, so I'm super that. excited. Mm -hmm. I'll be calling her this week. Yay, so thank fun. you. So I'm Jennifer. I'm the Curly Girls Obsessions podcast. So nice to meet you today at the event. So tell us quickly or not quickly. It doesn't help. Right. Um, what brought you into this industry? Oh, wow. Um, so actually, I struggle with hair loss. Um, I have lupus and fibromyalgia. And when you go through a point where you lose all your hair, that's the one thing you want. Yeah, right. I'm sure. Right. <laughs> so that's what kind of got You're me. You're the third person that I've met in my whole career that has lost all their hair. Oh, wow. Just like overnight right did you wake well, up no it wasn't overnight for me um you know gradually I lost it little by little so that takes away from your energy and the life you have little by little but yeah oh so and then did you get into hair restoration after that yeah so I just was looking for something to help me and um, I went to makeup school first then went to cosmetology school because makeup was the closest I could get. I worked a full-time job. I really wasn't able to um, take off mm -hmm. <laughs> I had to make some money. So I went to makeup and then that gave me enough to go to cosmetology school. And then little by little, I became a cosmetology teacher and then opened my own business and it just kind of spiraled. So where is your, you own a salon, correct? It's in, uh, it's extra cute salon and it's in um, a left hand field. Both and what all what do you, so do you guys specialize then in hair, hair rest loss. okay mm -hmm. yeah we specialize in hair loss so we're able to help people who come in with a number of different problems it could be someone who is just struggling with hairline we can do strand, strand by strand mm -hmm. um, or it can be someone who has lost everything and we have cranial prosthesis so we do wigs, just regular traditional wigs, because you'd be surprised. Some yeah. people don't want all the glam and the looks. They just want so something put it they can on. put on yeah, quickly. Super easy. <laughs> and some where, uh, you know, they do the baseball caps and the headband wigs. And like that. So, and then you teach? You said you educate as well. Yeah. So I am a um, advisor for the cosmetology program at College of the Cage. Oh, awesome. Yeah. That's so great. So how often do you teach there? Oh, is it so every a, day. Oh, every day you're there. That's the full yes. time. Gotcha, gotcha. That's the bread and butter. Yes. So I can do the other stuff on the stuff. side. So you, how often are you at COD? Every day you're every there. Day, so you exactly. travel in from, okay. So no, I travel out for the salon, but I live in the area. Oh, I gotcha, yeah. gotcha. But it's not as far. So you just get on 294, hop, skip, and a jump away. <laughs> 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 okay, you gotta let's look at the camera so everybody can see this really pretty girl with all this hair. And just thank you for coming on and not being awkward, right? Oh, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's awesome. And you know what? Actually, I'll have a girls' club at the College of Page. Um, that's for the students who can't commit to cosmetology full time. And so we do uh, workshops on inner and outer beauty. And I would love it if you guys can come. Oh, to yes, workshop. for sure. Oh, my gosh. We, so at our salon, we specialize. Did I tell you that? Curly hair. Curly hair. And our, our extensions. So we've gone to a couple schools. We've done styling demos. I've told my story of how all of this became like a thing for us. And we 100% would love to come. So actually last week was our third week meeting and we had a young man who came in and he said that he is adopted. He's got curly hair. His mom died, the one who was adopted, but the dad doesn't have the same texture. He has absolutely nothing, no idea what to do with his hair. So his suggestion for our workshop was a curly hair workshop. Oh, so I think we're going to oh, call. There was totally a reason why you yes. and I were chit chatting over there, right? Like curls for the girls and boys, or oh. curls for the boys and girls. Yeah, because oh my gosh, guys, we get so many men come in yeah. with um the with curly hair that they they'll come in for our haircuts once you know once a year, every six months or so. They come in like one guy was getting married. And he came in and had us style his hair first. Yeah, he but. said, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know. Can I do a man bun? Like, what do I do? <laughs> and they I go like, the, the money. 
<laughs> so oh my gosh, that's so funny. Yeah, so we definitely got to connect. Oh, yeah, uh, but we, we we're going to take stuff. down all your information, yeah. and I'm so grateful. Thank you for taking the time no, to talk okay. with us. Hello, hello, everyone. It is Chloe from Adored Signature Hand Tied Hair, and who do we have with me? Good morning. I'm Ebony Kareen from the Beauty Genie. All right, and we are here at Beauty Gives Back today, and we're going to ask my new friend some questions and about what she thinks of the beauty industry and where her career has bought her. So where has your career brought you so far in this industry and everything? So I actually started in the tech space. Okay. I'm a, I'm a tech founder. So I've been in the consulting space for the last 20 years. And a couple of years ago, I decided to launch a hair care vending machine brand. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. That is awesome. And what kind of products are you looking for in these vending machines? Like what products do you feel like need? Cause you said they're on college campuses, yes, correct? That yes. is awesome. So what products are you like looking for and what, what kind do you like? Like what are so, in these vending all machines? Things beauty, okay. Right? So yeah. Hair care, Amazing. skincare, makeup, and fragrance. Yes. Of course we're targeting the 18 to 25 year old. I was going to say the 24 year old. Yeah. Yes. 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 So, you know, so we have our own, you know, yes. stylists on campus. Yep. We That's have amazing. Yep. So we're, we're always looking for quick, easy, okay. ready to go. You jump up for class at eight yes. o'clock, right? We're going. What's the five minute phase? You know, what's the quickest way to do my washing? Mm -hmm. go? What, Absolutely. What type of yes. To you? Yes. 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 That's awesome. And how do you feel like a texture and like, Hair texture has played a part in your vending machines and what you offer. I think now within the beauty industry, mm -hmm. we're definitely seeing a, a change to embrace our own hair texture. And yes. Right? So before where curly hair wasn't trendy, now it's right. definitely trendy. Mm -hmm. um, but just focusing on education yes. and knowledge, making sure that young girls feel good about themselves. Yes, everyone's included. Knowledge. Um, to yes. make informed decisions. So we also talk about healthy hair care types. Yes. Um, certain products to look for, what type of ingredients to stay away from a hair care product. Yeah. So important. Absolutely. Yeah, that is Absolutely. so important. That is amazing. And is there any campuses or places around here we can find these? So we actually do have a machine at Chicago yeah. Union Station. So cool. Okay. So please drop by. Awesome. <laughs> yes, we will keep an eye out. That is amazing. Well, thank you so much for coming down. Awesome. Hey I hope you guys are having a great afternoon. Today I am here with Caitlin. Nice to meet you, Caitlin. <laughs> Caitlin has newly graduated hair school. She is actually starting in her first salon tomorrow. We are super excited for her. She's even going to start with an extension. Um, so tell me how you got into the industry. What made you want to become a hair student? I actually didn't even want to be. In cosmetology school, but <laughs> but I mean, my mom made me. No, no, no. I've always been doing hair. I just said I would never be standing up all day doing hair, and I completely changed that just about last year. And it wasn't until my grandpa who told me the story about my grandma because I didn't even realize that uh, she was going through all this until later in the week, and she actually had a looking show. And I just wanted to give back to the community and everything like that because she would always wear her wig and all that just, just try and be so strong to it all. Uh, I'm and, no, I can't. Did she have like patches of alopecia or did she just wake up one day and have no hair? Um, I think it was started in patches, and then the one day it was just gone on. The one that I yeah, so, I've heard of that twice in my career. Like someone has literally one was a thirteen year old girl. Actually, great. There is just literally woke up one morning and all their hair, all of their hair. I don't know. And I couldn't even imagine it. And then I had to my whose daughter. Um, it happened to her when she was four. Super young, right? You get to cause okay, autoimmune disease. Yes. So you went into it for your grandma. So um does that mean that you're going to specialize in hair replacement and stuff like that? Or is it just I, I would like to and the salon I'm going into tomorrow, she does yeah, hair wash. 
Yeah. So cool. I'm looking to get into so yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, like that's huge, huge, huge. It's a massive oh, yeah. industry. And today, in so today's small. world, with all the prescriptions, drugs, and the side effects of spare loss and everything else, this, from when I started my career 35 years ago, you couldn't even, like, people, you could not fit like a hair type around their ponytails because they had so much hair. And today, it's totally different. And I don't know what it is. Like, is it like, what's in the environment? What's in the, in the water? Or, it could be well water. <laughs> it could be anything, anything and everything. So, well, thank you for taking the time to stick here and chat with me. It was so nice to meet you. Thank you. And good luck to you. Thank you.